According to the Trade Union Congress, the current Labour Act 651 does prohibit security agencies from forming unions. These agencies typically participate in a joint negotiation committee to determine the base pay on the single spine. The TUC is going to court on a number of things. If you look at the first part of Access 5 1, the scope of the law limits unionization. For example, immigration officers, prison officers, the police, and so on cannot, cannot join or form a union to defend their interests. We think that is unconstitutional. And so we have already instructed our lawyer to go to Supreme Court on this matter. The Deputy Minister of Employment and Labor Relations, Bright Rekrubobi, stated that the Labor Act is currently under review, which will address the concerns of the TUC. Especially the security services. But now, if we look at it, can we say the security service can now form a union uh, that would seek to the welfare of, of their members and so on. So I believe it's, under, it's, 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 it's undergoing review. Uh, eminent people are, are on it. Organized labor, you are part. The, um, the employers are part. The government is part. The consultants is leading the process. Lawyers are the attorney general will look at it. It will come to parliament for us to look at it. So be sure that we are taking into consideration how the world of work has metamorphosed and how where we are now.